Welcome back to Stell Security. In today's video, we are going to look at the Redeemer box. It's also part of uh, very easy boxes and act box. And as you know, we are doing a walkthrough of every single mission that uh, we can find our hands on. So I have started it and I have the IP address. So let's first do the ping command and make sure we are connected. Yes, we are. So I'm going to do an nmap scan. Let me sudo as the root user. The reason I'm uh, changing my user level to root is because some nmap scans require you to be root for you to get the complete information. So it's always safe to be root before you run an nmap scan. It's nmap service version. I need a script scans. I need some verbosity. And I'm going to set D to 5 to, to speed of the scan and the IP. So it looks like every port is closed. Okay, interesting. So an NMAP default scan only scans for 1000 ports, the top 1000 ports, not the first 1000 ports, the top 1000 ports, the top, uh, the common 1000 ports. So since it says 1000 closed ports, we should do a full scan which means we're going to scan every single port. For that, we can do hyphen P hyphen, which means scan all the 65,535 ports. Let's run this. This scan will take a while, so I'll speed it up for you. Okay, as you can see, we have discovered one port. So it's always good to use the uh, full port scan rather than uh, the default nmap scan because you can always find some additional ports that you will not usually find. Okay, we have 6379 which is running Redis. Okay, interesting. So if you are running Redis, what we can do is we can use the Redis CLI tool and uh, we can connect to the Redis server. So before that, let's quickly look at the questions. This TCP port is open on the machine. It's 6379. Okay, which service is running on the port? It's Redis. What type of database is Redis? In-memory database or traditional database? So if you don't know what Redis is, Redis is an in-memory database, meaning it lives in your RAM. Or if you're running it on a server, it lives in the server's RAM. Uh, the difference between an uh, in-memory database and a traditional database is same as your RAM and your hard disk. So your RAM is not a long-term storage, but it's, it's a faster storage. Whereas your hard disk is a long-term storage, it's not as fast as RAM. In the same way, in-memory databases like Redis are used to speed up your uh, entire process. For example, if you're running an e-commerce site and you need uh, the products and the prices to be loaded quickly, what you usually do is you take them from your traditional database and store a copy in Redis. So whenever your application is making requests, the first request will go to Redis to see if there is a cache of that actual data. So this way you can speed up the entire uh, workflow. So this is the purpose of uh, using in-memory databases like Redis. And the way Redis stores information is like a key value pair. I'm assuming you would have seen JSON. JSON stores data in the form of key value pairs. Same way, you give a key and uh, you can store some information. So whenever you access the key, Redis will uh, give you the value. So this is in memory database. What's the command line utility? It's Redis CLI. Which flag is used with the Redis command? Utility to specify the host name. Let's look at the help command for Redis CLI. Okay, there are a lot of options. Let's expand this. Okay, Redis CLI H hostname. So we'll be connecting as Redis hyphen CLI hyphen H with the IP address. Okay, we can specify the port. Default will be 6379. That's the same port Redis is running. Password. Yeah, we can give usernames and passwords. Okay. There are a lot more information. Okay, let's try and connect to that. Redis CLI hyphen H and the IP address. Let's see if I'm able to connect without a password. Yeah, it looks like I'm in. I'm connected to the Redis port. Okay, let me type info to see what information I can get. 
Yeah, so info is a command that you can use with Redis to get kind of like a summary or a snapshot of uh, what this database contains. So what we are interested in is uh, the server version. Okay, it's running 5.0.7. Or is this the Linux? Okay, what other information can we find? So this is connected clients one, so it should be me. So how much memory is used? I'm interested more in the databases. Okay, here's some general stats. Replication. Okay, there is no replication. Replication is basically if you store multiple copies of the same database for uh, high availability. CPU cluster key space. Key space is what I'm interested in. Key space is the list of databases, which means there is only one which is created DB0. It has four keys, meaning four records are there. Okay, let's look at the questions. It's hyphen H as the flag for the host name. Once connected, which command is used to obtain the information? Info. What's the version of Redis? That's what we saw. So the version used is 5.0.7. Okay, what command is used to select the desired database in Redis? Select. The same as SQL, we can simply say select is zero, which means select the first one. Okay, so now it has selected. So the command to list all the keys is keys star. You can find all these commands in the Redis documentation. There are only like a certain list of commands that uh, you can use in Redis. Redis is extremely useful, especially if you are uh, a web application developer uh, and you want to build applications that uh, can scale and can have caching. Generally, a proper architecture in memory stores like Redis are extremely useful. So I highly recommend you check out the documentation. So we have keys. So we just need to get the values from them and see if there are any other questions. How many keys? Okay. Which command is used to select? Select. How many keys are present? The database we got index zero, four keys. Which command is used to obtain all the keys in the database? We saw that. Key start. Summit root flag. So I'm assuming the flag will be in the key flag. So to get the value of uh, a key, the command is just get. So let's see what is in temp. Okay. Get numb. Flag. Okay, this is a flag. Let's also see what's in store. Okay. All of them have uh, something similar to a flag, but this is the flag you're looking for. Okay, Redeemer has been pawned. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding Redis or cybersecurity in general, let me know in the comments. I'll uh, come back with an answer. And as usual, like and subscribe to the channel. If you found this useful, please do share it with your friends. I'll see you soon with a new box. Cheers.